Okay, question 5.4. Let's focus on part A first. We're going to design a butter over slow pass filter that meets uh, these specifications. And the first specification is the pass band ripple. Uh, the pass band ripples up to 3 dB. That means 3 dB equals 20 times log of AP, the passband ripple, to the base of 10. Okay, and that means AP equals uh, 10 to the power of 3 over 20. Which is almost equals to the square root of 2, okay? And the stop band attenuation of at least 20 dB. So using the same formula, you can have, you can find AS, the uh, stop band, the, the, the minimum stop band attenuation. 20 log of AS to the base of 10. So AS equals uh, 10 to the power of 20 over 20, which is 10. Okay, this is AS. So we got AP, AS. Well, this one, the passband edge frequency is F, P is 500 hertz. Okay, if you want to convert that to the angular uh, frequency, angular edge frequency, you should multiply that by 2 times pi. So we have 1000. We have omega p equals 1000 times pi radian per second. And in the same way, we can find the stop and edge frequency. Well, it is fs equals 6000 hertz. So we convert that to the angular frequency by multiplying that to 2 times pi. So omega s is um, omega s is 12,000 times pi rad radian per second. Okay, so these are the specifications of the filter we need. So the next step is to find the uh, to find the order, the minimum order of this uh, filter. And since we're gonna design a Butterworth filter, then the uh, the Minimum order of the filter should follow this uh, inequality and n should be larger than or equal to uh, log of square root of as squared minus 1 divided by ap squared minus 1. And this divided by log of omega s over omega p. Okay, let's replace the values here. So we have log of uh, a s squared is 100 minus 1. And a p squared is 2, 2 minus 1. And we have log of... Oh, this is the log to the base of 10, okay, both log to the base of 10. Omega s, which is 12,000 times pi over um, or 1,000 times pi. So this is 12,000 times pi, 1,000 times pi, and this is log of square root of 99 divided by log of 12. Well, I used calculator to calculate this, so this almost equals 1.85, and can conclude that the minimum order of a Butterworth filter should be 2. Alright, so we saw that in 
question 5.3 that the general form of the transfer function of a second uh, order Butterworth filter is in this format 1 over s over omega c squared plus s over omega c times the square root of 2 plus 1 right so here we should also find what is omega c well again in question i think it was question 5.3 that we saw uh, omega c or cutoff frequency is actually where the uh, attenuation in the frequency response is about 3 db and in this case actually in at ap we have attenuation of 3 db well, that means omega c equals omega p equals 1000 pi okay so if i replace here then you would have hs equals 1 over s over 1000 times pi squared plus s over 1000 pi square root times square root of 2 plus 1 okay so this is the transfer function of a low pass butterworth filter with these specifications Okay, in part B of the same question, 5.4, we want to convert the low-pass filter we designed into a high-pass filter with cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz, okay? So the cutoff frequency here is 1000 pi, and we want to convert this to a cutoff frequency for, so this is for the low-pass filter, but for a high pass filter, we want a cutoff frequency. Uh, well, if C is 2 kilohertz, that means the angular frequency, the cutoff frequency, the angular cutoff frequency of the high pass filter is uh, 2 kilohertz times 2 pi, which is 4000 pi radian per second. Okay, so. Uh, in question 5.3 part B, we saw that if we want to convert a low pass filter to a high pass filter with the same cutoff frequency, we have to replace variable s in the transfer function by uh, omega c squared over, over, um, over s. Okay? So this is the case when both low pass filter and high pass filter are going to have the same frequency. So for the for this for this case you see that the the cutoff frequency in the low pass filter and the high pass filter is going to be different. So in this case this doesn't work. We should use we should replace um, s in the low pass filter in the transfer function of the low pass filter by omega c the cutoff frequency in the low pass filter so i label it here in the low pass filter multiplied by the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter and that divided by s and then we get the high pass the transfer function of the high pass filter so for the low pass filter the transfer function of the low pass filter we have of the low pass filter we have 1 over s over 1000 times pi squared plus s over 1000 times pi times square root of 2 plus 1 all right then we're going to convert that we're going to find the transfer function of the high pass filter and as I said we should replace all s let me write it here we should replace s by omega c 
of low pass filter times omega c of the high pass filter over s and for our case it is 1000 times pi times 4000 times pi over s all right so let's do that here 1 over oh, we, we call this the frequency transformation okay frequency transformation All right, we would have, instead of S, we have 1,000 um, 1, times pi times 4,000 times pi divided by S and that divided by 1,000 pi squared plus Again, instead of S, we should replace it by 1000 pi times 4000 pi over S over 1000 pi times square root of 2 plus 1, All right? And that's, that means H of S for the high pass filter is is 1 over, well, you see these cancels each other. So we've got 1 over 4,000 pi over s squared plus uh, 4,000 times pi over s times the square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, so we got the transfer function for the high pass filter corresponding to the low-pass filter for these requirements here.